watching the Fix News at 10. Good evening, I'm Jim Watkins. And I'm Monica Morales in for Kaidi Tongue. We begin with a story too bizarre to make up. A flight attendant was arrested after an over-the-top outburst on a flight arriving at JFK. Somebody was apparently having a very bad day and it only got worse for him. Chris Glorioso live now at Kennedy Airport with more. Chris. A lot of us joke about or even dream about telling our bosses or our clients off on the day we quit. I believe the phrase is, take this job and shove it. Well, this flight attendant on board JetBlue flight 1052 from Pittsburgh here to Kennedy Airport, he took that to a whole new level and he was still smiling when the cops threw the cuffs at him. Thirty-eight-year-old Stephen Slater is the foul-mouthed flight attendant accused of losing his cool after a cursing match with passengers from Pittsburgh. Slater, who once posed for these pictures, proudly wearing his jet blue uniform, is now accused of throwing a bizarre tantrum that ended with the fed-up flight attendant storming off the plane, sliding down an emergency exit slide like this one. What I find funny is the fact that he lives, you know, so close to the airport, so he probably just figured, I don't want to get stuck on this plane with these people for another couple hours. I could be home in 10 minutes. His neighbor may think it's funny, but Port Authority police, not so much. Cops say Slater got into an argument with a passenger over some overhead luggage that fell and hit him in the head. Next, Slater is accused of spewing a profanity-laced resignation speech over the cabin's public address speaker, telling all 100 passengers to go blank themselves. He's probably, uh, he was probably well aware of the fact that he would get fired over this. Maybe he didn't think he'd get arrested, but he knew he'd get fired, I would imagine. Here's where it gets even more outrageous. Police say Slater was so ticked off, he pulled a latch, inflating the emergency exit chute. He slid off the plane, hustled to his Jeep in the employee parking lot, and took a 15-minute drive to his Bell Harbor Beach home. A source close to the investigation says airport security didn't catch the frustrated flight attendant because JetBlue failed to notify police immediately. JetBlue wouldn't take our questions on the subject. <laughs> it's a strange way to quit, let's put it that way. Uh, uh, I don't think you'll be able to come back. Tonight, flight attendant Stephen Slater is at the Queens Criminal Courthouse. He is awaiting to be formally charged with criminal mischief, trespassing, and reckless endangerment. And as if this story isn't wild enough, there are reports tonight that before he slid down that emergency exit chute, he grabbed some beer from the plane's galley, slid down on his butt with beer in hand. A lot of people are going to be talking about this tomorrow morning. For now, reporting live at Kennedy Airport, Chris Glorioso, PIX11 News. Unbelievable, Chris.